Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Everton have been linked with a low move for Manchester City midfielder Calvin Phillips, who spent the back end of last season on loan at West Ham, playing a total of 12 games in the league. Uh, for the season, uh, but only three starts. He is 28 years of age and will be 29 in December. Um, yeah, uh, interesting one. Obviously, Everton have been linked with him previously, but um, a little bit too expensive for Everton. There was reports that he went to West Ham and it cost uh, £6 million for the, thing, for the whole thing in total. He didn't really do anything at West Ham and... You know, he looked overweight. He obviously got sent off while he was there. I think he scored an own goal. I think he gave away a penalty at West Ham as well. It really did not go well for him. So, Everton, obviously, looking at the situation, maybe maybe Manchester City would, would allow him on loan and, and they pay most of it, his wages. They are in a bit of a difficult spot with him. He signed a six-year contract with them and he's only two years into that contract. So... Who'd really want him? Who could really afford his wages? Um, not many, I would I would imagine. So Everton possibly looking to uh, get a deal done. Certainly if Everton let uh, a midfielder or two leave this summer, it could really help plug that gap. Everton have also been linked over the weekend with a deal to bring Jack Harrison back to the club on loan. Of course, Leeds United did not get promotion back to the Premier League and um, it would make sense that they would bring Jack Harrison back on loan. So, possibility there of Everton bringing in a couple of players for nothing. Uh, fill those gaps. Obviously, Jack Harrison would just come back in his uh, the role he was in last year. But certainly, if Everton could bring those two players back, uh, so, so he could bring those play two players in, it would really boost the squad and if they could do it in pre-season as well and the manager would know straight away that he had those two plays for pre-season, that would be a huge boost for him and in a in a summer that could be a little bit unpredictable as well and um, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that but you can imagine Jack Harrison will be getting done. Uh, it makes the most logical sense. Everton have also been linked today with 25-year-old Jan Nicholas Beste. The left winger scored eight goals uh, last season and registered 13 assists. Uh, he wants to stay in the Bundesliga, apparently, but Everton could be an option. He's valued around five to seven million euros. So uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. And Amadou Onana has been named in Belgium's provisional squad for the Euros this summer. Um... It's been reported in the last few days that Onana is likely to be the first player out the door this summer from Everton to boost the transfer budget to bring new players into Everton. And obviously, that ties into obviously the Calvin Phillips links. If Onana was to go and could make Everton a £20, £25 million pound profit on what we paid to Lille uh, a couple of years ago, we could bring someone in on loan. Then that would make sense this summer with... The budget being tight, obviously we're still, well, we're very much um, in the unsure area of what who's going to own his next year with the, the links to John uh, Texter intensifying over the weekend, but still there's nothing, nothing certain there with the with him having to sell his shares in Crystal Palace. So Everton are going to have to do some wheeling and dealing this summer. If Everton can let players go for a good fee and then bring in their replacements on loan. Just for this 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 season, that could that could give the club a massive boost as as we wait to get into uh, our new stadium next season. So it's going to be a very very interesting few months in the transfer market for Everton, and you'll find out all about that here on Toffee TV on on the Everton News Daily. So make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, videos join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description, and the QR code is come on the screen now. See you later.